Okay, then let's go. Well, uh, Lee, welcome back a former winner of the World Match Play. Different venue, different country, different sponsor, but uh, still, 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 a, still a, I would say still a title that you actually relished winning. You cast your mind back to 2000. Yeah, I think if you look back at the history of the tournament and the, the quality of the winners, it's a title that means a lot to a lot of people. Uh, I know, you know, when I went back in 2000, I think I beat Sergio, Ernie, and Colin on the way to winning, uh, which is, you know, no mean feat. And uh, they were always good fields back then, and it, it's, it's got an equally good field this week. I think it's uh, in depth one of the best uh, world match play fields I've seen in a long time. Yeah, you've never you've never actually failed to get to the semi finals. I think I'm right in saying is that correct? Did you say so? I do. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. But, uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, golf course then. Uh, it's a good golf course. Great for uh, match play. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's probably a big hitter's golf course, if uh, you know, to be honest. Um, I suppose you know any golf course. If you're a big hitter and you sit straight, and you're going to have an advantage. But this one, the par fives are just about in range for the longer hitters, I think. And there's a couple of par fours that you can get really close to. Uh, it's in immaculate condition. Uh, there's not a lot of rough out there, which also maybe plays into the longer, more erratic drivers of the golf course, I suppose. Uh, and the greens are immaculate, you know, you, you've got a real good chance of holding the putts if you hit good putts on, on the right line, you know, it, there's not a lot of deviation out there. Um, there was a bit of wind today, which made the course play, you know, a bit interesting. There's some tight tee shots out there at times, and, uh, you have to think your way around it, you know, three would off the tee occasionally. Um, and uh, it's a golf course I enjoy playing. And there's a bit of insurance for everyone here, of course, this week, and if you can't afford to have maybe one bad, bad game and still qualify. Yeah, I suppose that's the case with the uh, the group stages. Um, you know, you can have one off round as long as you don't go down too heavily, I suppose. Um, but I think you've got to set your stall out at the start of the week not to lose any matches. Okay, take some questions, please. Mark. Well, I grew up watching the uh, match play on TV, not watching Seve play Bernard Langer and, you know, all the, all the years ago, Seve playing and Sandy Lyle and Faldo. And it was just that the world match play was just associated with Wentworth. You know, the sponsors changed uh, over the over the years. Uh, but I think, if you you know, you've got to move on. It is, at the end of the day, it does have the, the word world in it. So, you know... It was time to move it around the world a little bit. And, you know, if you're going to have it in Europe, you have to have it in Southern Europe. And Spain's, you know, a great place to have it. The, the weather's pretty reliable. There's some good golf courses down here. Uh, there tends to be good crowds down here. Whenever we played the, the Bobo Masters at, at Valderrama, there's been, you know, lots of spectators. So uh, I think, you know, if you if you have to change it, then this is a a good option. I do like the format, yeah, and uh, I know it goes a little bit against uh, the, the thought of, you know, match play, where we have to, con you know, continue out after the games are finished, and you can lose somewhere along the lines, and probably still go through, but I think these things have to evolve, and um, it's a good way of keeping everybody involved a little bit longer as well, and... I'm for it. I'd be interested to see how it all works out this week. What about the fact that you can play full 18 holes of golf where the actual match is decided? Well, I mean, it'll be a test of uh, stamina. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a demanding golf course on the body, and uh, you know that'll make it even harder that we have to play at least 54 holes over the first two days. You know, there'll be no real reward for, you know, Giving somebody a seven and six, you can walk in and having, having only played twelve holes. So um, yeah, you really have to have your wits about you and, uh, and and grind it out mentally and physically to walk up to the end.
what my thoughts on the field. Uh, well, you know, I just said that the, the field's as strong as I can remember, you know, depth-wise through the field. I think it's a, uh, a really good quality field. Um, you know, I don't think there'll be any easy matches out there. Um, well, it is mine now. It's in my hands. Uh, you know, if I uh, you know, win, all the win all the tournaments, then it'll be impossible for anybody to get past me. So um, that's as good a chance as I've had all year, really. It's as good a position as I've been in all year. Um, but it's far from over. You know, we're playing for such a lot of money this week, next week. Hong Kong and Dubai that, uh, you know, one person in the right position in one of those winning can go past me, so, you know, I've got to try and uh, take each week as it comes and get the most out of every week, really, and, you know, I'm not sort of counting any chickens or resting on my laws and, you know, having to work as hard, if not harder, to just try and stay in front, really, but it was well-timed. I think there will be times when you know it fits in with the Americans and their schedule. Um, if, if any Americans are playing in the HSBC next week, it's it's quite a long way around the world for them to come here and then go on. I mean, would be, imagine it'd be easier to kind of go fly to LA and then fly off to China. It was quite close on the back of uh, their FedEx Cup where they've played. You know, if you single out Tiger or Phil, they'll have played all the FedEx Cup events, I would imagine, plus the President's Cup in the middle of there. So, you know, if I was playing on that tour and I was a top American, I would be looking to this period in the year for as an ideal place to have two or three weeks off so I can see why they don't come and play it. Uh, but I would imagine when schedules permit, then yeah, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't uh, come back and play. And I, 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 it's a, it's as big a title, it's regarded as a bigger title over there as I think it is here, you know, that, Certainly, I played Tiger in, uh, I think it was 98, and, uh, you know, he, it was a tournament he wanted to win. Brian? Yeah, does the fact that you've won the money title before, make any less determined to win at the time? Big guys behind you have won before? No, it makes me more determined, if anything, you know. Uh, would obviously like to repeat it. Um, means you're the most consistent player over the year, really. And it's obviously very difficult to win the money list, um, especially with the quality players that we've got. We seem to have in Europe and playing the European Tour at the moment. Uh, do you think it's possible to win it without winning another tournament? Mm, I think it, it's possible, but I would rather win another tournament before the end of the year. <laughs> Not because I want to win the money list, but I would just rather win another tournament before the end of the year. On the, on, the, on the format, I mean, the uh, WDC version of this, you come there in the year for you, you've had a lot of early competes in that. Is yeah. this new format really to see it? Before? Yeah, I don't know the reason why I've never really done particularly well uh, in the, uh, the one in Arizona, or oh, it was La Costa. Um, if you look at historically over my career, I've never really been that successful in the early months of the year, so maybe that's just the reason there. I'm, I take a bit of warming up 